Hey guys, Ryan here. Thank you for joining me for a new video today. As you can see, it's beautiful outside. It's actually really bright and my eyes are so sensitive to the light, so I'm gonna be squinting, but man, I'm excited for today. <laughs> the NFL is back. I love football, so I'm getting this video done before any of the games kick off. Also, that might be a little preview of one of the niches that I'm gonna be recommending in today's top five niches of the week video. But also, you know, every now and then there's a niche that I think is just screaming that it's gonna make you guys some money. And uh, you know, there's been a couple of those. It's not like an every week thing where there's one niche that's just screaming like, hey, do this, do this, do this. But this week, I've got one of those niches. And I think I put it at number five. So you're gonna have to wait for that one to come around, but you're gonna like it. It's gonna make at least a handful of you guys some money. It's a new niche. So there's not too many incumbents to compete with. And uh, let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna go get on my computer and we can get started. Thanks again for joining me guys. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Real quick, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I know about 50% of you aren't because YouTube analytics tells me that. If you wanna consider subscribing, you can look forward to videos this week. I'm going to uh, talk about the a new Amazon advertising format. I'm going to do some Etsy print on demand shop reviews. I'm going to do a full Amazon merch product review. I think they call them hauls. So I've got about $400 of Amazon merch products sitting behind me. I wanted to do that video this past week, but the weather was so bad and I'm thinking I wanna film it outside with some nice sunlight, some natural light, and make it look as professional as possible. So I really want that video to be um, done correctly. Also, we've got two winners from last week's print on demand mega pack giveaway completely free to enter i'm going to be doing another one this week but congratulations to you two i'm going to be emailing you as soon as i finish recording this video as you can see uh the person on top took advantage of the additional ways to earn entries again completely free they had 37 entries which increased their probability of winning and uh, congratulations i mean you guys deserve it i appreciate that again another giveaway taking place at the end of this video all right real quick before we start let me introduce myself if this is your first time on my channel if you want to consider subscribing just want to let you know a little bit about myself i'm ryan hoag i've sold over 1.8 million dollars on amazon to date if you want to follow the links in the description i've got a free eight day print on demand mini course delivered to your email one lesson a day i've got a print on demand facebook community very vibrant very active i'd love to have you there i publish income reports on the first day of each month i don't just talk about this stuff. I want you to trust that I'm actually out here doing it. So I try to be as transparent as possible. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can keep up to date with my income reports on the first day of each month. And I wrote a full print on demand course, 10 modules over 70 lectures. If you want to check that out, link in the description, the earlier you join, the more value you get because you start making more money quicker. That math actually does check out. I promise. So if you're on the fence about joining, the sooner you do it, the better value it is. All right, niche number one of the top five niches. And this one is gonna look familiar. Uh, it's the election and I'm combining that uh, with you know the politically correct and racial justice movement and equality movement. Uh, these shirts still dominate the top you know 10. Uh, there actually was one that slid into the top 10 this week that I will be um, showing you, I think in niche number two, but I just wanted to also point out, now, now while I don't recommend doing a Black Lives Matter shirt since there's multiple people trying to trademark it, I did just want to say that this style design, one of our sponsors of the weekly giveaway, All Sunsets, they give you hundreds of pre-made sunset graphics and it's like $27 for an annual license to use them for you to make top selling t-shirt designs. So check that out, link in the description. I love them. All right, niche number two. This is the T-Rex niche because I saw at least three T-Rex designs in the top 50 of the best sellers. So it's like you can take a T-Rex and mix it with any cross niche that has high potential, it seems like. So you got the Mamasaurus. I don't think that one was in the top 50. I added that in late because I think it was in like the top like 150 maybe. The other three though, the let's eat kids, let's eat comma kids. Uh, that one was in the top 10 actually. So I don't know why it's selling so well, but it's selling very well. People love their T-Rexes. The third one there, now I am unstoppable with the little robot arms. That one was in the top 50. And then this one, which uh, is not a new design. Sometimes I check to see if any of these are posted in 2020. Most of them have a little bit of history behind them, which shouldn't surprise you because we know Amazon's algorithm favors designs that have sales history, but that shouldn't deter you from posting new designs because guess what? If you can get one that sells well this year, guess what happens next year? If it's an evergreen, if it's not, you know, closely tied to something in 2020 that won't be going on in 2021, hey, like the mummy, the mummy T-Rex that's trick-or-treating, that'll probably sell well next year, maybe even better because it's got that sales history. So I, I went into Merch Ninja and uh, took some screenshots of the BSR history, price history. They even give you some keyword suggestions here. 
Uh, but you can see the BSR history of the T-Rex punctuation shirt. You know, in the last 30 days, it dropped down from 80,000 all the way down to, where is it at now? 4,595. So that's doing extremely well and it's holding steady at a good price point, 17 bucks. So they're making just under $3 per sale. Uh, now I'm Unstoppable T-Rex shirt from 200,000 BSR all the way down to 19,440, doing really well, holding steady there. And the uh, Mummy Pumpkin T-Rex keywords that's a weird some of these titles have some weird uh keywords but you can see there they put halloween shirts for boys kids dinosaur so like they're front loading their keywords with really high value keywords that are not easy to rank on but guess what they've got to back up their rank they've got sales history so keep in mind somebody's going to rank on those keywords and they went for it and they're ranking very well right now on halloween shirts for boys so credit to them and this dropped off from 150,000 BSR all the way down to right now 26,000 BSR and they've increased the price over the last 30 days as you can see they had it min price you see this right here min price jumped it up to 1399 and then jumped it up to 1499 so as their BSR lowers they are increasing the price increasing profitability niche number three all right this one these there's always like at least one tarot card that's like in the top hundred it seems week over week However, these have been creeping up in popularity. And what's weird is like, I mean, I don't know anything about them. And I don't know if this is like some occult black magic stuff that, you know, maybe we shouldn't be putting on t-shirts. I don't know what you guys believe in. But, uh, you know, I was digging through these and trying to figure out like what's really going on here. And I, I got to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> like there's some, if you go in, if you go down this rabbit hole of t-shirts on Amazon, like there's some weird stuff. Uh, but these are selling well and I'm seeing improvements in the BSRs week over week Like I've probably put one of these in maybe the bonus section in the past because uh, I think it's that one all the way to the left with the 32,000 BSR that one sells really well But the one about the moon it had multiple that were selling with like relatively low BSRs not like super low where you're gonna get rich but Consistently improving week over week. So that's niche number three tarot cards Niche number four now we're getting into the money here so I mentioned this last week. Actually, this is the niche that I wanted to talk about. So I didn't put it at number five. I put it at number four. This one specifically. There is just so much potential here. It's crazy that I'm not making more money off this niche. It should have been something that I thought of doing. Although I always do get a little on the fence about selling shirts that are related to like a popular sports franchise because most of the time that's a losing proposition like most of the time even if you get away with it initially it may come back to haunt you later however the washington football team because they can't use redskins anymore uh, and they lost the ability to protect redskins anyways a couple years ago i forget exactly what happened but they like some court ruling or something where they couldn't they didn't have the trademark anymore i think but anyways i still wouldn't go after that but Washington football team, that is their team name. That is, you know, football, if you guys aren't in America, like this is a very popular sport. Um, our version of football is not uh, what most people consider to be football, which we call soccer. This is like American football. They throw the, the oblong sphere and, you know, a lot of people enjoy it. I love it, like I said. But the Washington football team, this is not protected. So you can list Washington football team t-shirts. Now, here's why, here's why it is crazy. They're one of the most valuable NFL franchises. Now, granted, they've been pretty awful at football since about 2012 when they first when they made the playoffs like in recent history that was the last time i think it was 2012 and um so if they actually have a good season these shirts will sell even better but if they have a bad season guess what they're still fans of the franchise that's what makes them so valuable and nobody has like not many people are gonna go drop premium money on an nfl jersey why would you you know they're gonna have a new team name next year but guess what people will spend 13 15 20 bucks on a funny t-shirt to wear just for this year so this is crazy like there's so much money to be made and i mean if you guys aren't football fans or redskins fans maybe you won't have the inside like humor when it comes to some of the the meme potential but there's still a lot of these on amazon that are really funny like the fire dan you know that's the, the owner there's also some scandal related to the redskins i would stay away from that um but as you can see they have a new team name it's not ip protected nobody has a jersey <laughs> and there's so much meme potential because it's like if they were good at football like if their team was actually good which maybe this is their year they got a new head coach i mean i love ron rivera maybe this is their year but if history is going to tell us anything about the redskins or the sorry the washington football team uh sorry don't be mad at me for saying redskins didn't mean it um 
if there's if history tells us anything they're probably gonna suck so the meme potential is what's really gonna be selling really well if i had to guess the ones that are more hey the red skin or the, the washington football team sucks are probably gonna sell better than the the washington football team's awesome shirts you know they'll probably end with a losing record all right niche number five closely related to that one but i just wanted to show you guys these are all creeping up their bsrs are all improving week over week and i didn't realize this i did suggest this niche last week with the kansas city but i realized that this person is they took the same graphic and they did it for each franchise but notice they're not infringing on anybody's ip it's just here actually i broke it down and i wanted to show you you can actually use automate pod which for is for uh, print on demand design automation you can use this and it'll basically do it for you <laughs> like they have the location one on top they've got the football graphic obviously but that's not changing they've got location two which is just the state abbreviation in the middle they've got the established year so they've got like three data points that change from shirt to shirt and then when they upload they're intentionally selecting uh color schemes that look good related to that franchise i mean we all know what they're what what they're selling to they're selling to the fan bases of these football teams but they're not they're not infringing i mean it says football right it says a location in the united states plus football so it's a clever way of making a little bit of money this this is one of those things like everybody that needs a break from the news cycle right now that's been so negative you know a lot of people are probably going to find a little bit of uh, reprieve in football so this is going to be in the uh, on a lot of people's minds i think there's going to be a nice boost to football shirts this week all right looking ahead we've got september 16th guacamole day september 19th gymnastics day september 20th punch day i put question marks because i was like is that what i think it is like are we punching each other or are we drinking punch all right i'll take rum punch though as a preference to hitting each other uh, September 21st, Miniature Golf Day, and then October 31st, never too early to be thinking about Halloween. Now, don't just think, oh, Halloween, let me make a pumpkin shirt. Get creative, man. Look look back at my interview with Detour Shirts. He got real creative with some Halloween sub-niches that he shared on that video. I'll put a link to it in the YouTube cards up here so you can check that out. He shared some great stuff. Also, follow him on Instagram. Great follow. All right, bonus shirts. I liked this one. Uh, it says, you may ask yourself 80s music retro lyrics. I don't know what this song is. I just like it because to me, it's like, how did I get here? How do I work this? Uh, am I right? Am I wrong? What have I done? I don't know. It, it, I don't know the song, but when I saw like, am I right? Am I wrong? It kind of like in my mind, I was like, man, this is like some self-awareness. You know, if you ask yourself those types of questions, you know, you start looking inwards and don't just get consumed by what's going on outside the world that you may not have control of. So I like the shirt. I may be completely off the mark with whatever the actual song that this is referencing is about, but I put that in the bonus section because I liked it. All right, and then flags of countries in the world, international gift. Um, you know, it's funny when you, whatever country you live in, it's like we think of other countries and in reality, like we're all sharing this planet together. It's all invisible lines that kind of divide us and uh, governments just vying for more and more and more and more and more power um, at the cost of our basic human rights but hey you know what this is kind of to me like a positive message because it's all hearts with the international flags and i think at the end of the day we're more alike than we are different so i like that message as well deleted designs all right so got quite a few here i'm not 100 percent sure why all these were removed um it looks like the third third one ducktail is just blatantly infringing on them uh what else may the 40s be with you ripping off star wars you got ripping off blockbuster there um the fema one maybe the government is protected i mean i don't know i've never really tried to upload government agency logos uh what else another blockbuster shirt and yeah i don't know we could look at this all day the one from uh trump with the punisher logo is still there as well from last week all right now to the giveaway again there's a new weekly giveaway you can enter for free link in the description giving away a thousand dollars in prizes to two lucky winners i call it my print on demand mega pack it features a three month three month license to merch titans automation that's valued at i think 250 dollars. i might need to actually uh, check that because it may be worth more but merch titans automation allows you to automate the upload process for your print on demand uploads i use it all the time all day every day for amazon merch because i'm going for a hundred thousand unique standard t-shirts on the u.s market it would not be possible without them automate pod i use this also to try to hit that mark hundred thousand unique standard t-shirts it's not easy i am leveraging design automation via automate pod uh, you can get set up in five minutes it's a chrome extension 
and I mean, people are loving it. <laughs> it's been growing in popularity like crazy the last month. All right, all sunsets graphics. I referenced this earlier, pre-made sunset, the vintage retro sunsets that you see everybody using on Amazon merch, on Redbubble, wherever you buy your t-shirts or research your t-shirts. I'm sure you've seen them. All sunsets are doing it for you, saving you time so that you can basically just go do some niche research, add some text, and create a design that sells. So that's a no-brainer to me because it's 27 bucks. So there's links in the description if you want to check out any of the sponsors and show them some love. Or you can go for the weekly giveaway and try to get it for free. Granted, there's two winners a week. You know, it's not easy to win, but you can increase the odds by uh, taking little actions like following me on Instagram, following me on Pinterest, little things like that to increase your odds. All right, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. If you like this video, if it helped you out at all, let me know in the comments if you're making sales with these niches. I would appreciate that. I love the feedback. And hit that like button. Let the YouTube algorithm know that you like the video. Also, if you're not subscribed, this is my last chance to ask you to consider hitting that big red button because we're doing these videos every week on Sundays. I'm doing the income reports and I'm trying to do daily videos just giving you guys some content that's going to help you and your print on demand or your KDP or your FBA business. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.